rhombus and its properties. So here we'll see the properties of rhombus and how we can take. So a square properties we compared with rectangle, right? Similarly, rhombus properties we compared with parallelogram. So let me uh, show you the definition first. A parallelogram. So from the parallelogram only we can take. Okay, a parallelogram having all sides all sides equal is called strongus okay, simple thing parallelogram having all sides are equal so in parallelogram opposite sides are equal in case the parallelogram all sides are equal that will become as a rhombus so this you can see as a definition that means all the sides for example let me draw a rhombus here all sides should be equal so we can take you should take the same distance so here a b c d vertex a b C T. So rhombus is one of the quadrilateral. So in this uh, A B is equals to and B C is equals to C D and that is equals to D A. That means all the sides are equal. Then only you can say A B C D is a rhombus. So A B B C C D and D A. Parallelogram having all sides are equal is called rhombus. So let us see the some properties of this rhombus also. So when you compare the properties, similarly you will compare the properties from the parallelogram. So in a rhombus A, B, C, D, the first one you can say is opposite sides are parallel because we are taking the properties from parallelogram. So parallelogram also same, opposite sides are parallel. Therefore rhombus also same opposite side. Opposite sides are parallel. So same distance between the two line segments. So nothing but they are parallel. So you can write here is AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC. This is a parallel symbol. And second one, can you verify? Yeah. All sides are equal. So this is from the definition. Because the parallelogram having all sides are equal. This is called rhombus. Therefore here also all sides are equal. So when all sides are equal then we can say same. AB is equals to BC is equals to CD is equals to DA. So all the sides are equal. And the important thing when you come to diagonals. Diagonals bisect each other at right angles. So this is also some property from the square if you observe. Diagonals. Diagonals bisect each other at right angles. Right. So diagonals, I am taking two diagonals. So every quadrilateral is having four, uh, two diagonals. So joining of the opposite vertices AC and BD. Okay, these two are the diagonals. Then intersect at right angles. So that means this angle is 90 degrees. If the intersecting is point at O, then same, they bisect each other at right angles. And diagonals bisect the angles of rhombus also. So angle AOB is 90 and BOC is 90, COD is 90, similarly DOA also 90 degrees. So AO, here is an diagonals also equal. Sorry, in diagonals are not equal. That means only AO. They intersect each other. So A to O and O to C is equal. And O to B and O to D is equal. And in rhombus, so diagonals are not equal actually here. And diagonals bisect the angles of the rhombus. So diagonals also will bisect the angle of the rhombus. That means AC bisect angle A and C.
and BD bisect angle B and D. So BD is bisecting angle B and D. Bisecting means it make into half. So this is our important property. See you. So angle these two angles. If it is x degree and this also should be must be x. And this two also should be same. So AC bisect angle A and C. Similarly, BD also bisect angle B and D. So diagonals, so you can write like this. Diagonals bisect the angle. So they bisect the angles of the rhombus. Right. Therefore, we can say that is uh, AC is one of the diagonal, right? So it bisect angle A and angle C. That means it make into two equal parts. There is a bisecting. Like if it is a 60 degree, divide into 38 degree and 30 degree. Similarly, BD is a, another diag diagonal. It bisect angle B and angle D, right? Then this will, if it is uh, totally 60 degree means if it becomes 30 and 30. So equal values you get in both places. So in this way they will uh, bisect it. So these are the properties of uh, rhombus. A parallelogram. So you take only from parallelogram. I mean all sides are equal. It's called rhombus. Right. Next we have more quadrilaterals. Next we will see uh, properties of uh, trapezium and its definitions also.